Hello and welcome to another video. How do I connect Google AdSense to subdomain websites? Now, subdomain website, Google most times, uh, most subdomains doesn't really accept them unless a uh, is a domain or subdomain from a blogger. However, domains are different because domains, it means like name, whatever name you have chosen, .com, .org, .net, it depends on what you've chosen. However, subdomains is when you go to the domain you've chosen dot subdomain dot com or the domain you are hosting your website so it's different basically from that it's like um, if I'm going to the blogger those are subdomain because Google they owns them and I don't really own them anything except that I have created for free example if we go to layout uh, we just go and save uh, click on view and then we can see that we have a subdomain example this is the name that I have chosen myself however the subdomain is blogspot.com so I don't own this um, it is my I have created an account but uh, Google basically owns it and they can remove anytime they want to however if you have your own domain is different story so now if you think of uh, connecting with the blogger it's easy uh, all you need to do is just log in with the blogger that you want to so in this case, let me just click on one of them. I'm going to test if I have. Okay. Um, if you see the dollar is in orange, basically it tells you that blog is available to apply or to connect with your AdSense account. If you don't see that, then basically uh, is not at the moment. So, okay, we click, we have this. This is what we're going to do. Now we're going to connect it uh, with AdSense account. So let's just go and do that. First thing, uh, click on sign up now. So sign up for AdSense. Uh, now we need to go to the AdSense account that we want to use. So I'm just going to click. This is where I have my AdSense account. Uh, I accept connection, shall I say, between the blogger and AdSense. And then just click on redirect. That's all I need to do it's because I want to redirect to the blogger. Um, once it's being re redirected, it says, congratulations, the AdSense widget has been added to your template. Uh, press continue to customize your AdSense settings. So yeah, all that has been done and set up, all we need to do is now show the ads what we want to in our blog. Click continue. And it says, this is your publisher ID. Uh, it tells you successfully that this blog has been connected with your AdSense account. And now the, your couple of uh, templates you want to choose. You can choose template A, B, or C, or one, two, and three, uh, the ads. Those in yellow is telling you the ads where it's going to be showing just below the post and on the right hand side of the post. These are the most common and used basically. However, if you want, you can even go and do that manually. Manually will be just go to layout. And then once you are in layout, just click on add a gadget. Click on AdSense. And choose what type of size you want of your AdSense. Once you do that, example, if I click on, let's say 300 with 600, this is how it's going to show quite a wide one now we you can choose the colors um border color border color is the uh, round one around the ad a background in the background what color you want to if you don't know what color to choose as uh, sometimes it may not open all you need to do is just go in uh, type in wheel uh html wheel color color and then it's going to show so many colors and then copy from that. Or let's just go and do that. HTML, wheel color, that's all you need to do. Just click on the first link. Uh, type in the colors that you want to. In this case, I'm going to go with the blue. I'll go a bit darker. Um, all you need to do is just copy this bit here. This is the code. Uh, go to the blogger and type in a background that. So control V. And we are done now that we have a blue color in uh, back of the ad. Uh, it is recommend to leave it as it is. However, if you want to make changes to look your ads the same as your uh, blog background or something, then you can do that. And then it says text, basically text to show something else. You can show it like yellow or something. Example, we just want to go and do that now. So let's just go to HTML again. We want to show yellow. So this is a nice color at the moment uh, let's go there now the um, text we want to show on yellow so let's just paste and now we have a yellow text in here uh, you could see clearly uh, and then just click on save ad 
Once you click on save ad, the ads will start showing here. Now, if you want to just put above the post, you can do that. Below the post, you can do that. On the left hand side, on the right hand side, and so on. Basically, just click on save and you are done. And then uh, Google will have to review this blog if it complies with the uh, access policy and then accept or not your blog. So it, that's it. It's easy as that. So I'm just going to remove one more time. Okay. Uh, if you, uh, this is how you do with your blog.com. If you have a, a AdSense account, you have other domains, other subdomains, sorry. You need to go and log into AdSense. All right. So once you log into AdSense, you need to click on sites and then you need to go to ad site and then try using a subdomain here. Once you click next, Sometimes if you use a subdomain example, I'm just going to type in um, education uh, ox, um, dot com dot uh, or dot com. I'm not going to go dot and then subdomain from somewhere else. It could be uh, Weebly maybe. Something like that. Once you try next. It may not accept. It looks like there is something wrong with the URL. Please check and try again, which means sometimes subdomains from other hosting rather than Google, it may not accept. So, but when it's personal domain, like if I go uh, excos.com uh, and then click on next, it's going to accept this particular domain. So, you have to check out here. Uh, if you have a blogger, just uh, log into the blogger and just connect it with that sense. That's the way you can do. Or two, if you have uh, subdomains from somewhere else rather than Google, then they may not accept it. Basically, so you may have to use only personal domains. That's what that's it for this video. Uh, if there is anything different than this, so you may find some other ways of doing it. Please do comment below, and then you know maybe we can come up some kind of uh, resolve this issue. Thanks again for watching this video.